right, so we've talked a lot about how the system works, what the components are, but what's one of the most important things is attaching things to it. And one of the most common things we need to attach in, in theater is scenery. Uh, we fly uh, flats, walls that need to move up and down is one of the most common things. And there's a lot of different ways that you can attach the scenery to the baton itself. And you need to be able to attach the hardware to the scenery. So uh, we're gonna talk through a few of the options here. I'm just gonna pull some things up as we go. We can see here, this is a flat. Now this one's a soft cover flat. And you can see down here, we took a D-ring plate and it's actually welded to the, uh, the steel frame of this, which is nice. We got a rated shackle here to a turnbuckle, another shackle. And then here's our lift line here. This is a Nyko press or, or a uh, swage sleeve right there. Uh, that attaches the cable to go up. And one of the nice things they did here is they ran it right through the frame. So they put holes in the frame to run it right up through the center. That keeps a nice center of gravity. A lot of times when you pick up from the bottom, it has a tendency to list forward. Um, this really prevents that and gets you a nice plumb drop there. Now this is a little bit more difficult with wood, so we can't just uh, weld to wood. We have to find different ways to do that. So let's take a look at some of this hardware. So this is how we used to do that. This is a scenery hanger, and this is actually what we call a top hanger. Uh, the bottom hanger, there's a little uh, U bracket here where it would go underneath, and those go here. And these were really designed for wood screws. We would put wood screws in here and then lift it up from there. Well, wood screws really aren't the best option for, uh, for doing uh, uh, overhead lifting. So these are very common. They were used for a long time. They are no longer the industry standard. This is another common piece. This is a D-ring. So this is a D-ring plate. You can see we welded it here. D-ring plates can also be used in that respect down here or down here on the bottom of the frame. These also, when you're working with wood, they want to be through bolted into there. Um, you know, the, uh, the, so the nice thing about those, you can through bolt them, uh, but uh, they don't really get the connection piece there. See how they push it flat up against it? Uh, you don't really get the option to fit a nice piece of hardware in there. Um, maybe you can fit a quick link in there, uh, but these are actually not rated for overhead lifting with the exception of a very few manufacturers that will do that. So for the most part, we don't use these for overhead lifting. Now, let's talk about what we do use. So these are uh, scenery hanging plates. These uh, can go nicely right here on the bottom like that. We have others that can go here and lift up uh, from, the, uh, from the side. So um, if you look at closely at these, there are two holes that have a taper on them. Those are for your screws to set them. And then two holes that are not tapered. Those are for your through bolts. So you set them and then you attach them with your through bolts. Those are gonna be, that's gonna be consistent throughout these. Now I could take these and I could take a, a rated shackle here and I could attach this. Let's assume that I've attached this to here. I could then take a piece of cable and attach it to that, uh, that plate. Now this cable has been pre-made. I used a, a, a suede sleeve on that one. Uh, so we can just go ahead and take that into there. And we're assuming that this is already attached to the flat. But once that's in, you're attached right there. You could, you could hang from there. You could hang from here, uh, any of these options to, uh, to attach through. Uh, another option, if you don't have a, uh, a swage tool uh, to do that, is wire rope clips. So instead of using this, we can use a wire rope clip. Now the wire rope clip goes around and pinches these together. We'll be talking more about how exactly to use those, but that's another option to use for making those if you don't have that tool. Another option is chain. We can use proof coil chain uh, to, uh, to make those connections. Uh, so that instead of the cable, use the chain to hang it. We can also hang things from the top, especially with, uh, with steel construction, we can hang from the top. Uh, we don't want to hang from the top as much with wood construction, uh, but, uh, but from steel, that is an option. And then finally, how do we attach to the batten up above? So we ran this cable the whole way out through the scenery and we're ready to attach to the batten. This is called a pipe clamp. Uh, we use these to hang the pipe itself in the rigging system, but we can also use it to hang the, uh, the scenery down below. So it takes a couple of bolts here and here. And then I have this free to take a shackle and put it through right there. Uh, and then attach that to either the chain or the cable that I used to hang the scenery. So that's an option. Another option is I can use that same piece of chain. It's called a piece of trim chain. I can wrap it around the pipe like that. And I can take these two pieces and uh, attach them in like that uh, to, uh, to whatever cable I'm going to. Uh, so that gets you your attachment to the pipe. And then you wanna have adjustment of some sort. So the chain is nice because you can adjust the number of links that you're using in there. Another option is the turnbuckle. Uh, 
Uh, turnbuckle is a device that, uh, that allows you to make the attachment. And then once it's made, widen or tighten that connection. So when you're using these, you want to set them about halfway through and either tighten them until, they're, until it uh, is a clean consistency. So you see we have the turnbuckle on this one and over here. We can adjust the tension to make sure that the tension matches on both sides of the pieces of scenery. So. So that's an, uh, uh, a primer on uh, attaching things to scenery. One of the key things is just designing your scenery so that it can be flown. Know where your anchor points are gonna be, know how you're gonna run the cable through it. Are you gonna run it through? Or are you gonna try to attach the cable to the back using D-ring plates? A lot of different ways to go about it, but it really starts with uh, designing the piece itself and how you're gonna build it.